to go. I'm gonna finish my ice cream. One more. What's up, everyone? This is Just Winging It with BGHD, and I got my big bro, uh, Ryfi, Ryan Goist here. Um, we've been trying to do this for a pretty long time, and now we finally get to, and what better time to do it when we have to do a little bit of social distancing right now. So this is... It's not worth the six foot table. This is it. Yep. No? Um, you excited? Not at all. <laughs> you nervous? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, how are you with spicy stuff? Good? Bad? I think you know the answer to that. I, uh, I do know the answer. I mean, I think you tried to turn me on to sriracha. Yeah. Uh, like 10 years ago. Yeah. And that's the hottest you thing like, you've ever had. Hate it. Got it. Um, it's it's going to be like... Here. Oh, I've seen the show. Okay. Uh, I definitely know that Sriracha is probably right past the classic. Yeah. It, uh... You know how we're like not supposed to touch our face right now yeah. in like life? Like that's all I want to do. And also, this is the worst day to be able to touch your face too, just even being around this. So, left to right? Yeah, left to right. And then I, so I'm not doing right. the last step first? Correct. The last step's on the second On the top. Left to right, yes. This is... Okay. You got it? Yeah, yeah. So the first one is um, just classic. Which is made by Hot Ones the show. That's good. Oh, not bad. So how you holding up? It's the first one. <laughs> um. So obviously, speaking of like social distancing and stuff, and all the craziness happening in the world, I'm assuming you're staying safe. So, how are you keeping busy at home? Well, first off, I still got to work three days a week, which is good. Um, so I like that. I like that we, you know, not technically stuck home the entire time, but I don't want to say stuck home. That's not really the right word, but I, I do, I do like that our, our job provides us that capability of still going to work three days a week and then being home with the kids and helping them. Like Ari's got a little bit of school work she got to do. She's just in kindergarten, so it's pretty simple, but just to yesterday, we put their playhouse in the dining room and eliminated the dining room, so there's no dining room table anymore. So, uh, and today we put the ball pit in the basement and having fun with that. We do movie nights. So just trying to keep as, um, as busy as we can, but then also trying to get home projects done. Everything that I've been wanting to do that I haven't wanted to take time off vacation for, getting done. So in a way, all of this craziness and chaos is kind of, I think, keeping people together. Um, you know, at, at a time like this, but I mean, we just got to follow the rules and just kind of, you know, stay out of stores, keep a good distance away from people, obviously wash our hands and take care of our hygiene. Yep. It sounds so simple and easy, but you know, it, it, it's obviously something that's been neglected. It's a good reminder for the entire world to be yeah. clean. <laughs> so. so at the end of all this, it's, it's, it's pretty great. Good. Um, and the memes are great. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh. Um, all right. So second one we, wing we got is, uh. What is it? Can you read it? I can't. This it's... one's called Secret Aardvark. All right. Habanero hot sauce. So this is, um, you mentioned hot sauce, or uh, sriracha earlier. This is... Oh, I just passed it. Yep, so... <laughs> so here we go. Here's my limit. Mm -hmm. The bottle said it expired two years ago, so... This one is not bad. It's more, it's more tasty. It's got more flavor. Yeah. Um... So I'm going to be a father soon, you know that. Um, what would you say the, you know, the thing you weren't most prepared for? Okay, so a lot of people will tell you like it's going to be diapers, it's going to be that type of stress, it's going to be um, all, all, all of that. I mean, obviously like, you know, the kid getting sick or anything that way, shape or form, you're not going to be prepared for because you're not prepared for yourself when you get sick. So I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say the thing you can't be prepared for is something that happens every single day. And that is the children's content that you have to consume. And that goes anywhere from watching anything on YouTube that is just, you can't believe that they're watching this. And it's like the superhero shows and it's all kinds of um, parents playing kids games or it's Ryan's Toy Review. You know, if it's Toys and Colors, uh, uh, Caillou, Peppa Pig, of course, you can't get through the Peppa Pig phase. We're in it right now. It's been like an ongoing thing for like four years. So, I don't really mind Peppa Pig as much right now. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but it's, there's a lot of really funny things. Uh, one of the things I just noticed that I was talking to Mary Beth about is that Miss um, Rabbit 
actually plays all the main characters, which is hilarious. She plays the pilot, then she plays the, the bus driver, then she'll play the airline attendant, then she'll play the traffic guard and the police <laughs> officer, and it's just hilarious. So, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, that's not that bad, but it's it's all the content you're not prepared for. Yeah, keeping them busy. So yeah, third on our list, Shaquanda's hot pepper sauce. Going into fatherhood, that's what you weren't most prepared for. Um, what uh, what advice would you give me jumping into it? It's coming fast, man. It's it's kind of like the same advice I gave you a couple weeks ago at your diaper party, which is like, be their storytellers. Remember, every single day to them is something completely new, where we take advantage of a day, you know. And it's like, you've been here for thirty years. So a day to you, when you really think about it, is not that big of a deal. But when they've been around for three months, I mean, that's that that entire, like one day to them is one ninetieth of their entire life. Like that's a pretty big deal. Like um, so where that that's come come down to. So when you look at it, it's a pretty big important thing. Every day is a milestone. And, and be their their storyteller. Document it. Take pictures of them. You know a lot. And, and there's going to be so many cute things. Take video. Do that. You don't have to do all the extravagant stuff. You don't have to, you know, get into that. But but just do that for them. You know, it, that, a lot of people say, you know, don't take the pictures or videos. You know, because you're behind the camera. I mean, we're not using these viewfinders anymore. Right. That's, you know, back in the day, it's it's a GoPro that's this big. That's nothing. It's a tripod. It's standing there. It's nothing. Just do that and do, be that storyteller for them and that's what i would say i mean that's what i think a lot of people want to do and in theory that's why we have snapchat instagram facebook live all these types of things to, to, to share this content i mean do it i mean that's that's what what my advice would be to to do that every day and the kids love it they love watching themselves they love watching their cousins they love you know it's also important so and I think, like, even as, as us growing up, that's a big thing that, you know, we kind of missed. We still, we have these home videos that are eight hours long, and <laughs> you don't really get to see anything where, you know, you take these quick videos, and it's, you know, they can be excited about it for five, ten minutes and watch the next episode of whatever, so. I feel like one. my nose is running a lot, though. <laughs> it is. Um, it will, though. That's all right. Um, so the next one we got is... Heartbeat hot sauce is pineapple habanero. Um, besides your current position right now, what has been your favorite job title or favorite job? Hands down, the movie theater. Yeah, it was my first job. I was like 16 and a half years old when I got it. But movies were like so big to me growing up, and it was such like uh, it was awesome going to them. So working in a movie theater was just great in that idea. But it was obviously making your own money, but you got to do everything. I mean, I, I got to work the actual projectors, which I don't even think they do that anymore. I think mm -hmm. it's all somehow digital. Um, you know, the popcorn, getting to do all that. You got a break after like 50 minutes. Like there was like a break every day for like a half hour, but it was just like the best job. And then of course going to see the movies and that type of thing or stopping in. And it was just like one of the best jobs. Like I would totally do that if it, if it, I don't know, paid very well. <laughs> was the right thing. I don't want to say anything bad about anybody. I mean, any yeah. job's great out there, but um, I, I, I obviously love my job and what I do now and, and what it has to offer. So, um, yeah, I, but I would say the movie theater, hands down. Movie I mean, theater I, I job would be awesome. Everyone yep. should have, it, it would be the coolest first job for anybody, yep. but loved it, so. A lot of good times there. A lot of fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. You I used to ride my bike there all the time. Yeah. It, was, it was a good time. Yeah, you saw Troy 57 times. Yeah, and I don't even like those types of movies. <laughs> I don't think you've seen it since. No, I can't even tell you what happened. Like 13. <laughs> yeah. The thing about every one of these, and maybe it's the water that activates it, I don't know, but hands down, it gets hotter. Like you, when you eat it, it's fine, and then your tongue just starts throbbing. Mm -hmm. So you love TVs and you love movies and all that stuff. Uh, what TV show would you bring back and what sequel to a movie would you have made? Hands down TV show would be, and you and you probably will agree with me on this one, hands down has to be Happy Endings. Absolutely. If you if anyone's ever seen that, it was just like, it was right after I believe like Friends was out or whatever, but it was just like 
one of the funniest shows. Uh, out with Damon Wayans Jr. was on there. Like it was just so great. Um, no one will know watching this. <laughs> I'm telling you, watch yeah. it if you can. It is hilarious. That one, that one was pretty great. And then um, if I could make a sequel to any movie, uh, would hands down be the sequel to my favorite movie of all time, which would be Fool's Gold. I mean, how would Fool's Gold two not exist? I mean, Kate Hudson. And Matthew McConaughey, Kevin Hart is like on top of the world right now, so it would be like a hundred million dollar movie in a second. <laughs> yes, it will. Um, which like so many people understand that that's you know Kevin Hart was in that like that movie is awesome. So I don't I don't get it, but if I could pick back <laughs> anyone, like um, hands down, I would totally make a sequel to Fool's Gold too if I could get that made. So I've only seen that movie once and. You know, I'll wait till the sequel comes out and I'll watch it again. This is the first <laughs> one, just to yeah. make sure you, just you make... knew where it was at? Yes. Uh, wait, I didn't eat my thing. Eat it up. I was excited about that question. I know. I was excited that you said happy endings. <laughs> Are you holding up? You good? Good. It's okay. This one hands down is like the halfway point. Hot stuff like this is ridiculous, but they have a lot more taste than I was expecting. Yeah, usually it's a uh, just something just gasoline and ghost pepper. So where am I going next? It's left again. We have. You didn't put the bomb. I know. We're gonna do that on our next, our on our second set. I decided not to because these two are extremely high. The bomb is not that high, so I said we'll do that. One yeah, it's just like the worst tasting thing. It is terrible. Do you want me to go get it? Put it on. Wouldn't it just go between Detroit Hellfire? Probably. Yeah, I mean, we have to do the bomb. It's just like the rules. It's like unspoken. I mean, you know we're... You're just mixing it, right? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just put a little... We'll do two down. Do you think I didn't have these all set? I was like thinking that... I'm like thinking that there's just gonna be an extra wing, like this is a, a well-produced show. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as like, you know, a favorite quote or, you know, as far as like motivation goes, what keeps you motivated? What, what gets you going? Just one thing to Honestly, something that it, it'll help you out like with work, it'll help you out with, with, with being a father, but it's kind of like, um, it's fine time, not excuses. It's so easy to make excuses for anything, whether it is going to the gym or writing, uh, like, or going to the gym or like reading or running, um, being there for, for the family, kids, taking the trash out, making all kinds of excuses of like, oh, there's so much on my plate today. Just find the time, not all those excuses to go into that negativity. It's so easy to wake up every day and be like, oh, it's Monday, oh, it's Tuesday, but. You know, it's kind of like how, I mean, I, I, you've heard me say it today, but I say it to everybody at work, but it's welcome to today. Mm -hmm. And those are the two approaches you can take on the day. Oh, it's today or welcome to today. And when you take that, when you find the time and not excuses to, to accomplish what you need to, and realize if something didn't get done, it's just gonna go to the next day, but just try to get it done and find that time in that day. No, not really necessarily make the time, find the time. If you make the time, it's kind of like coming from somewhere else. I know that sounds like the same thing, but it means you're you're taking away time from the kid because you're making time. Yeah. But if you find the time, it means you're staying up later. You know whether it's that. And yeah. You know when when my kids get a, a little bit different of a schedule, I would like to do the whole waking up at five a.m. and getting all my stuff done before everybody else gets mm -hmm. done. And right now I stay up late, and everybody else stays up late. So like it's not like you'll text me like anything that way. Yeah. It's like I just want to like go to bed at nine thirty. And if you text me every day, it just doesn't matter. I'm, I'm yep. gone. I'm asleep. It doesn't matter. But I'm also not going to text you at five in the morning. Right. So it kind of has a lot to do with that kind of stuff. But if you live by that, I mean, I'm not obviously preaching to anybody or telling anybody they need to do that. But that's just what's what I, that's what works for me. I think if you wake up with a positive mindset too, instead of you know uh, it's Monday and you, you know it's welcome to today or you know let's let's get this going, you start out on a good foot. You know the whole day is going to be good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's the biggest thing is overcoming, waking up and saying, oh, I got to go to work or I got to go to my job or, you know, whatever that case may be. But if you wake up, you're in a good mood, you get going, it's the, it's going to be a good day. Yeah, you should do that. 
So the next one, um, we're doing two dabs if you've ever seen the show. Um, we have Hellfire Detroit Habanero, um, and, and Ryan wanted to, wanted to do the bomb. Uh, I did not have that because we're going to do the show again with the other sauces that we have. So he, he wanted to do the bomb beyond insanity. So we're going to dab it into that. Um, so that'll, you know, that'll be fun. All right, I already dabbed. Let's just do this one. Yep. It was what Before you do that, and uh, you know, I'll let you think about your answer. What did, where did the name Ryfi come I from? I totally forgot there was questions. <laughs> yep. Good luck. Uh. That's a gasoline case. Nothing's gonna help, is it? Nope. You wanted to. I think if you put water on it, it gets hotter. No, what? That's one hundred percent true. You wanna get milk? That's why I brought my ice cream. You wanna get milk or ice cream? Ice cream. <laughs> Bro. Dude, this helps. This helps. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. And it's okay for you. I don't even feel bad, bro. So, Ryan. So, like eight years ago. Okay. I believe it was actually Martin Drews. <laughs> oh, who wow. one time like made a comment and kind of put the tech spin on it, but took my name obviously and then the word iPad. And called me Rypad. And it went into that. And from there it was kind of just funny with a play on how Apple does things, so then I named my phone, how you can name your phone, like when you use Bluetooth or yep. anything, I named your iPhone. And then when mobile hotspot started coming out, I named my hotspot Ryfi. And I always liked the name Ryfi that way, because it was just kind of a tech spin on it. And then I just decided to kind of give the nickname to the family, because it's kind of like a, like obviously, we live a very techy, smart home life. Mm -hmm. So I just tried to do that just for fun. That was really it. There's no real like. But it's kind of like I gave it to myself, to be honest with you, in a, in a way. <laughs> nice. That's interesting. If you didn't know where it came from. Um. Is your mouth still burning? Huh? How are you doing? <clears throat> I don't remember. Like this is okay. So. You know how like right now with the whole coronavirus thing, everyone says like, you'll you'll appreciate things being stocked, places being open, being able to go places, shaking people's hands. I'm gonna appreciate my tongue after this. Yeah. Go. So the next one is Wiltshire Chili Farm Trinidad Scorpion. Like, where do you think it gets that name from? I, I couldn't, I mean the heat, the desert, Scorpion. Is, is Trinidad hot? Listen dude, I'm not, I'm not here for a lesson, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know anything right now. Um, so what's the next question? Let's go. Um, what's your favorite content to watch right now? I know you do YouTube videos, and I'm sure this is going on YouTube and whatnot, but what's your favorite content to watch right now? I mean, if it's like YouTube, it's like David Dobrik all day. Like, I could do that. Yep. Uh, MKBHD, obviously, for tech videos. He's got a lot of stuff coming out right now because of the, the uh, because of just streaming. So, that's probably some of my favorite. I love watching podcasts more than listening to them. Mm -hmm. 
sudden impulsive, freaking this thing. Taking this thing right now. Funniest thing I've ever listened to. Has me cracking up. I just want to taste it a lot like Los Caliente. Mm-hmm. But you know what's going to happen? It's going to have more of a bite. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. But you know why I might not feel it? Because but you can't feel there hasn't been anything hotter in my entire life. You just can't feel your tongue now. The rest is easy, man. I think that helped. I don't know if I've ever drank so much water in such a little time, though. No. And the sad thing is, it's not even doing anything. If I drank this much ice water regularly, that'd be insane. I can't. I can't say L's right now. I don't want to. I don't ever see you drink water. I drink tons of water. I guess I'm just not with you. Hey. Question I, I would say is, is what's your favorite adventure with your family right now? What really scares me right now is if I have to throw up from drinking so much water. I have a bathroom down here. It's you're gonna take you it's gonna burn everything back up. Do you want me to grab you something? Can I have a more ice cream? Yeah. Did you finish your <laughs> Favorite adventure, I mean, last year when we went to the campground, we probably the back. Um, or the indoor amusement park, which actually got canceled this year. But one thing to keep in mind when you have kids, I mean, this isn't against anyone who has done those things, like taking their kids to Disney early or the beach or anything. I mean, everybody's different. But they don't know the difference. Just as long as you guys are there, having fun, being engaged with them, showing the excitement, I mean, anything could be a good time. It could be a good time literally just being in your house like we are right now. So, just keep that in mind with your adventures. It could be an adventure just to the park mm -hmm. down the street. So, but how you'll get there might be fun in the wagon or something. So. The camping video is probably one of my favorites. Favorite when you guys are coming down the water slide and everything. That's awesome. Yeah, the girls aren't even part of that. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure they had fun watching, guys. Yeah, definitely. All right, so this is the last one. Yeah. So this last one is uh, called the last dab. Because it's tradition, even though we've only done this one time. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more. Put oil on the thing. My last question would be, do you have any regrets within the first six years when you're being a father? Does this count? <laughs> <clears throat> You haven't done it yet, so. <clears throat> this will probably be my top regret my entire life. <laughs> <clears throat> like, I don't even consider this an accomplishment. But the last two have not been as bad as the bomb. too much today. Look at this is like my third meal. And you know what's a good combination? I actually forgot the question and I remembered it again. <laughs> so, um, honestly, my, in the first... None of this can be good for any, for anything. First year and a half, two years, Missouri. It's like, I, I don't know if it's called a regret. Because I'm sure it had something to do with, like, like, my advancement and what I've learned in my job. But I worked a lot. And I worked about an hour away. So, 
I would be gone. Sometimes for an entire day, and she'd be uh, in bed by the time I got home. We might have to leave the next day for work before she even got up. So it felt like sometimes it was like a two or three days where we didn't even see each other. Yeah. And I felt that sometimes I'd come home and I'd be like a stranger. So I didn't have that with Kai. So I didn't know the difference at first with Ariana. I just thought that was just like how it was supposed to go. But with Kyra, I didn't have that, so I would say that it was like kind of a regret. So that I wish I would have had that at that time. Obviously, it's not the same. I mean, she's six now, right? So, I mean, but I would just say at that time, there was times that I think I, I felt like I missed. Yeah. Know, so that would be it. So find the time, be there with them as much as you can as possible. Obviously, you have a job as well too, so you still have to you have to, still have to do that kind of stuff and and, and, and weigh your priorities and. And kind of do that, but you know, and just be there now and remember it. Take the videos, watch the videos later on. It's yeah. it's, it's twice as funny. It's things you didn't even remember seeing when you were there. Take advantage of all the opportunities. So yeah, that's it. Find time, no excuses. <clears throat> well, I gotta be honest. I did not think you were gonna complete this. I thought you were going to leave me hanging on wing three. So I am extremely proud of you, man. What else do you have to say? Um, I'm, um, I hope you're happy, so. You got your way? I'm the one that bought you all of these. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, for you to. This, uh, this was my wedding present. But you did know at some point you had to do it. So I love the show. Um, continue watching Hot Ones, and I guess I'll understand it a lot more of what the people are really going yeah. through. And uh, I'm probably gonna hate my life here in the next day. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because when you got this for me as a wedding present, we said, if we get the last dab, you're doing this with me. And I think a month later is when they sent us all three Hot Ones, and that was your ticket. Great case though. Yeah.